For sample test four, problem number eight. What is the net upward force on an airplane wing of area 20 square meters if the speed of air flows 300 meters per second across the top of the wing and 280 meters per second across the bottom? So as we're looking at this wing, here's point B, here's point A on top, and we have airflow going across the top, which is faster than the straight line airflow on the bottom because the airflow across the top has to travel that curved area in the same amount of time that the streamlined airflow on the bottom travels straight, hence it moves faster. And when the fluid flows faster, then the, its absolute pressure at that point is less, and that creates a pressure difference that raises the plane. How about that? According to Bernoulli's equation, then, the absolute pressure at A plus one-half the density of the fluid, in this case air, times the velocity at A squared, plus the density of the fluid G times the height at A, is constant for a streamlined fluid. So that's equal to the absolute pressure of B, plus one-half rho times the velocity of B squared, plus rho G height of B. Now the difference in heights between A and B in, with respect to some reference is really small and the density of air is really small so this rho gh term is pretty negligible compared to the one half rho v squared terms so we're going to say that we can pretty much cancel those out so hence we would have that the absolute pressure at b minus the absolute pressure at a would be equal to one half rho times the velocity at a squared minus the velocity of b squared, just calculating that. So our change in pressure is going to equal one-half the density of air, velocity at a squared, minus the velocity of b squared. That's going to be one-half. Density of air wasn't given. It's 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed. You don't have to memorize that. Um, it should be given in any particular problem that you would have. 300 meters per second squared minus 280 meters per second squared. And this is equal to 7,482 newtons per meter squared is the pressure difference between the bottom and the top of this plane. But we want to find the force. Since the pressure difference will equal force per area, the force is going to equal the pressure difference times the area. So that's going to be 7,482 newtons per meter squared times 20 meters squared. Meter squares cancel out and that's equal to 149,640 newtons. If the plane weighs less than that then it will rise because that is the force of pressure due to the air, air pressure difference 149,640 newtons causing a lift of the airplane.